2021 is going to be a really great year for the economy, but there are three big challenges that small businesses are going to have to face in order to take advantage of those business opportunities. The biggest challenge that small businesses are going to deal with is hiring enough workers. Statistically, the labor market seems weak and it seems like there should be a lot of workers to hire. What we're hearing from businesses is that actually that's not the case at all and it's very difficult in a lot of industries in a lot of parts of the country. You might need to speed up your hiring plans by weeks or months knowing that when your business really needs those people later, you might not be able to find them as quickly as you think. Another really big challenge that small businesses need to know about right now is there are a lot of logistical problems across the economy. That means delays in shipping, that means shortages of a lot of key materials and key parts. As much as possible, you want to stock up on the things that you know you're going to need so that you're less vulnerable to shortages later. So you've got to be proactive with your customers and warn them and help them understand what you're dealing with right now. Another challenge that small businesses need to worry about this year is rising prices, rising prices for a lot of key commodities, materials, products, either things that they use to make their products that they sell to customers or things they use to provide services to their customers. One strategy that small businesses can look to in this environment of rising prices is, is if they can find a way to, uh, to be more efficient in their operations, to keep their costs under control, they're gonna have a real edge against their competitors. So if you're a business that can hold the line on prices or only have small increases because you found a way to get your costs under control, you can really stand out in the market right now and win a lot of customer loyalty. I talk to a lot of small business owners. I hear what's on their mind right now, and what I'm really hearing is they're relieved that the economy is getting better. They see the improvements in demand for, for their products, for their services, but they also feel very squeezed. So it's, it's a year where I think you have to really plan ahead and you really have to be flexible in how you respond to these, these constraints on your business to be able to take advantage of, of the good times that are coming. Uh, it's going to be a good year economically.